Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the missing side of the right triangle. So we're going to be doing these two problems. If you notice, uh, you have right triangles in both cases, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Now I want to remind you of the Pythagorean theorem. Here you have a right triangle. A and B are the legs of the triangle and C is the hypotenuse. C is opposite the 90 degree angle. And Pythagorean theorem states that A squared plus B squared equal to C squared, where A and B are the legs and C is the hypotenuse. So using uh, this theorem, I can solve for the missing um, side in each problem here. So let's use this particular problem. They gave me the legs of the triangle and they want me to find the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse, I'm calling it C, and that's the side opposite the 90 degree angle. Using the formula A square plus B square equal to C square. So this could be A and this is B, or this is A, this is B. And then now, if we use this as A, this becomes 16 square plus B square, that's 12 square equal to C square. So you're going to have to now use uh, your calculator to evaluate uh, these numbers. 16 square is 256 and, the, and 12 square is 144 and that's equal to C square. Now add those numbers, you get uh, 256 plus 144, you get 400. Now C is the uh, square root of 400, which is equal to 20. Now if you recall, when we were solving square root, what did you do? You used plus or minus. We can't do that here. C is the side of a triangle, is the hypotenuse. It can never be negative. So you can only take the positive answer. So square root of 400 and that's 20. So the hypotenuse is 20. I do not have the unit, so it's just 20 unit. So this is the hypotenuse. Now doing the second problem, in here, they give me one of the legs and the hypotenuse. I'm missing the other leg. So if this is A and this is the B, the unknown, now using the formula again, A square plus B square equals C square. A is eight, so you have eight square plus B square, that's what I'm solving for, B equals C square C square, which is 17 square. Now you can use your calculator. I think you'll be able to get this. Eight square is 64. You don't need, I don't think you need a calculator for that one. Plus B square and 17 square. If you, if you use your calculator, you should be able to get 289. Now we're solving for B. So we need to subtract 64 on both sides of the uh, equation and then this cancels out and we left with b square equals to 289 minus 64 is 225. You're going to have to take the square root property so b equal to square root of 225. Remember it cannot be negative so it's only the positive answer. Square root of 12, 225 is 15. So this, the missing side has length of 15. Again, I do not have the unit. 